One of the problems with a new scheme <clears throat> is the business people get together and then they hire individual companies to provide parts and services. And then things start to get a bit ropey and the organizations then expect these providers to be taking as many risks as the entrepreneurs and the businesses uh, which started the scheme. That seems very unfair. <laughs> and what's extraordinary, of course, and I use this word again, extraordinary, is that the government is doing the same thing to smaller businesses over HS2. So the French train maker, Ulstom, has uh, it, 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 it's got a historic factory in Derby employing 1,300 people. And the government uh, agreed to uh, get it to build 54 trains, together with Hitachi. Uh, it's a contract which started in 2021. And now they don't know what's going on. <laughs> there's, there, there's no certainty about anything in the Derby Litchurch Lane factory. Ten months of discussions and production lines have effectively stopped. And Mark Harper, the Secretary of State for Transport, said that he recognised the challenges faced by Alstom and Hitachi. These aren't challenges. These are bad behaviour by the British government. The British government gave an undertaking to these companies that they would um, use their goods and services, and then they reneged on that. And we're supposed to still have HS2, aren't we, in some form? So surely they still need the 50, 54 or 55 trains for the HS2 line. Or should we just abandon the whole lot? Because when a large company, like, for example, the British government, behaves in such a cavalier fashion, it doesn't deserve to be engaging smaller businesses to work with it. Why would you work with the British government if you can't trust that it's going to keep its word, that its contract is going to be honoured? Why, why would you do it? I think HS2 should simply be scrapped. I think it was a vanity project from the very beginning. And although there's a lot to be said for links between the South and the North and improving the network, the, the HS2 plan is too grandiose and isn't going to deliver. It's not, it's not in fact, going to improve the speed between London and Birmingham because you're going to have to dither getting on the train in London and dither getting off the train in Birmingham to make any form of connection. It's a completely pointless experience. Whatever time you save on the train will be lost in the process of milling around on the platforms and getting to the train and getting from the train to somewhere else. I, I go to Birmingham regularly, and the HS2 train is not planning to go to the main station in Birmingham, Birmingham New Street. It's planning to go to something just just nearby, but it's going to be a, a huge walk from one to the other. And there's enough walking around Birmingham New Street anyway, and it's so confusing. Let's just add to the confusion. It's a misery. And, um, you know, Alstom, responsible for building France's high-speed TGV trains, responsible for doing good work on time, it now has to deal with the British government. Why would anybody want to do that again? Why would anybody trust us? It's 
um, it's failed to treat the situation seriously, it's failed to treat it with urgency, it's failed to treat it with honour, and we've heard that again and again. And I, I think the mothballing of Alstom's Derby factory will be devastating for its employees, for Derby, for the British rail industry, and all of that could have been avoided had the minister in charge recognised that there's a principle of honour here, rather than just shuffle his paper around his desk and hope that something's going to turn up.